Jordan Hauser here for LeadFTS.com, and I am with Luca, who owns a training facility in the suburbs of Montreal. Luca, will you tell me a little bit about your facility? Yeah, sure. So uh, I run a facility actually in uh, Laval. Uh, it's a 1,500 square foot facility. Uh, and uh, when we opened up, we decided to uh, up, uh, put all kinds of elite fitness stuff in. I have a squat rack. I have uh, all your strongman stuff, the glute ham raise. And uh, from there, I train my clients, man. I train athletes and I train regular people that just want to stay in shape and have little goals that they want to keep on going and working with for as long as they're with, with me. Okay, so what's your personal history with training? How did you get started in doing that? Uh, my personal history in training, well, uh, I've always, I've always trained as long as I could remember. I, I mean, I, I find it a bit stupid when people say, yeah, I started training at like 12 years old and it's been like 27 years, but <laughs> anyways. Uh, but so I started training around 14 uh, in a gym. I mean, your regular big box gym, that's when I started. When I really started training was when I figured out that to play football, because I, I used to play football in high school, and uh, when I transferred to college, I wasn't big enough. So that's when I really took the gym serious and I told myself like, man, I gotta put on weight. I gotta get stronger really, really fast. If not, I'm not gonna make the team, which, Ironically, I never made the team. Why? Because I was never at the level that I was, that I should have been. But I kept on training. So uh, football put aside, I was like, well, I'm gonna stay in the gym. I'm gonna keep on working out. Well, I'm probably like fitness seems like a good venue for me. I'm, I, I'll work towards that. So I trained a lot, a lot. I uh, had coaches, they helped me out. I trained with some some of the best guys in Montreal in terms of like bodybuilding. They taught me a lot of stuff uh, in terms of nutrition, in terms of pump, in terms of like just bodybuilding type of training. And I did that for uh, pretty much till the day I opened my gym. But there was a certain point where I started following Paul Quinn and I started following Elite uh, with Dave Tate and Louis that's over here and I started integrating uh, like that style of training the block periodization or the concurrence or uh, and I started mixing it up a bit with what I knew and that's pretty much how I work my things today is there's a blend of facets that I learned from and I integrated into my gym Okay, so you've educated yourself in a lot of different types of periodization. So when someone comes to your gym right. and you're trying to figure out what the best way to train them, right. how do you determine what kind of periodization or what kind of methods do you like to use to determine what will be best for them? Well, since I work with two different, really two different styles of people, I mean, my regular Janes and Joes are, I mean, they're limited, you know, they come into the gym, they basically want their best bang for the buck, sweat and conditioning, and they want to feel like they worked out, right? They, their, their goals aren't to bench 400 pounds, their goals aren't to run a 40 and a 4.4. So I'll go more in like uh, Metcons or body compositions and just like, give them a good workout. So there's not too much periodization per se in that, that I'll use. Uh, like I'll look at it more in a global aspect, like over the course of 12 weeks, instead of like, let's say block, right? Where it's on a four week or three week, however you want to work out with it. So that's how I'll do it with them. With my athletes, uh, since I train a lot of football players at the moment, it's also very, very tricky because I'll get them for a short period of time in their off in their off season because I'm kind of fighting with like schools and therapists and physios on when they get them when I could get them and so I, I pretty much put a program together for them that I'll when they'll come in I know I get them from like solidly from May to August they have a program that's set and uh, it's block 
it's pretty much block based but i'll have to play with it because i know there's gonna have to be like changes along the way just to accommodate the guys so you train people for a lot of different goals you know you've got the the athletes that come in then you've got more of a general fitness population yeah. you've educated yourself you say you read a lot of of authors and lifters that write on stuff are there specific fundamental things that you see help all lifters no matter what their goals are uh like one aspect that helps everybody yeah just put in work that's it like and that's one thing i tell everybody who walks into my gym from day one is like i'm not gonna hold anything against you if you're not if you're just gonna put in work that's the main thing i want you to do if you're gonna tell me listen luca i could only show up once a week no problem but when you're gonna show up that once a week just put in your 100 percent and i'll and the same thing goes for my uh, my football players and the rest of my athletes and that's something that i feel like i I learned from the guys I worked with as well is at the end of the day it's just a question of grind you got to come into the gym and you got to beat the weights and you got to figure out what works for you because heck man my program's my program but it could like I always tell my guys it could be the good program it could be the wrong program we'll only find out if we drill you in and it works for you cool we found a good program for you and if it doesn't that's even better now I got to figure out another program that's going to get you the results and make you grind. But at the end of the day, it's it's the grind. It's the push and the sweat and the blood and the sweat and the tears that you're going to be willing to put in. Great. Thanks, Lula. Thanks for talking to us. No problem.